Hi, it's Gene retired in Mexico and there's only one question we ask on this channel which is do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now a lot of people, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a lot of people young and old they think the old music is better but I am not so sure and today we're going to hit up Fiona Apple. Now this is somebody I already know. Uh, but here's what happened. I moved to Mexico around the same time that she put out her album uh, fetch the bolt, fetch the bolt cutters. Yeah, and uh, and so I missed it. You know, I just I was busy getting set up here, and somehow I, I I missed that. The other thing that I haven't done in two and a half years is have a Dr Pepper. So I'm going to listen to Fiona Apple and have a Dr Pepper. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but those two seem to go together to me. So I've already done a deep dive into the lyrics, and man, this album, I got to tell you. This album is just rave reviews from everybody. I mean, Pitchfork, 10 out of 10, and Metacritic, 98, and All Music, four and a half stars. A bunch of other magazines gave it five stars. Everybody loves this, and they say it's kind of industrial sounding for her. So, you know, I always think of her as a piano player. So I've done a deep dive into the lyrics, and they're about high school, basically. So how she was treated when she was younger, and I guess early in her career. So the lyrics are pretty straight ahead. I'm not going to do a Word document and uh, cut and paste them this time around. I think uh, hopefully we can understand them. And if not, maybe we'll pull them up real quick and look at them. All right, here we go. And you know what? I, uh, another thing I want to say is, <laughs> not to be chatty, but there's a little thing going on about whether or not you should pause videos. And I was watching... I like to watch Andy and Alex, and they're like, don't pause videos. I'm like, well, hey, that's easy for you to say. Maybe you have some kind of secret, but I find that if I pause the video one time or two times, especially on someone who's on Epic Records like this, it does help with copyright blocking. And so I dug into that a little bit. Most people are still recommending that we reactors, if we're using copyrighted material, that we have to somehow uh, modify the content. I'm sorry guys, it's the bots. Not my fault. So, anyway, uh, some videos I let them go and some I do not. And this one, my instinct tells me to pause it once or twice. So, here we go with Fetch the Bolt Cutters. Yep. There's those. Uh I was trying to be your friend I thought it was then But it wasn't It wasn't mm. genuine I was just so furious But I couldn't show you Cause I know you And I know what you can do And I don't want to war with you I won't afford it You get sore even when you win And you maim when you're on offense But you kill when you're on defense And you've got them all convinced That you're the means and the end All the VIPs and PYTs and wannabes Afraid not being your friend And I've always been too smart for that But you know what, my heart was not I took it like a kid, you see The cool kids voted to get rid of me I'm ashamed of what it did to me What I let get done It stole my fun, it stole my fun That's the bolt cutters I've been in here too long That's the bolt cutters I've been in here too long So good time to pause it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, some of this is not a surprise, uh, but what what is a surprise is that bass, and then her uh, patois or delivery, whatever you want to call it, very 
uh, jazzy sounding like you know Esperanza Spalding or somebody like that and uh, uh, and then the piano it's not an acoustic piano it's some kind of chimey thing that she's playing and uh, so those those three elements are uh, a big surprise and then I read that she mixed this and man the vocal production on this is excellent I can understand every single word she's uh, singing so let's keep going with this because I'm really loving this. This is uh, almost stream of consciousness. Love the uh, percussive elements and all the sonics. While I'd not yet found my bearings, those it girls hit the ground. Way she was saying, I'm not stylish enough, and I cried too much. And I listened because I hadn't found my own voice yet. So all I could hear was the noise that people make when they don't know shit. But I didn't know that yet. I grew up in the shoes they told me I could fill. When they came around, I would stand real still. A girl can roll her eyes at me and kill. I got the idea I wasn't real I thought being blacklisted Would be grist for the mill Until I realized I'm still here I grew up in the shoes they told me I could fill Shoes that were not made for running up that hill And I need to run up that hill I need to run up that hill I will, I will, I will, I will, I will <laughs> we had a cat and we know we have a dog. That the metal butterfly I read about? Just tapping a little piece of metal. A little bit of hiss on there, some bells. Is that organ? So the humor in this, you know, I was reading that it's it, it's such a brutally honest album, but it, but album, but some of the songs are full of humor. And boy, does this song ever uh, relay that? So yeah, I read you know I read the stuff about it. it's basically a trio. She's she's playing a lot of stuff on here like drums, I believe, and the uh, keyboards, and then uh, uh, one of the other members he's playing bass, and then uh, the other woman in the band is playing the, uh, I guess she does play drums on this, but the drums and percussion are done by the two women, and then there's a guest singer on here from England, and then I read about the reference to the uh, TV show The Fall, which I've never seen, I don't know anything about, but that's where they got the title from, uh, and then that the dogs belong to the two singers. Uh, but. Yeah, this is this. So this is kind of a new trend. I think we can talk about this. Have, have a real quick conversation about this, because this thing of of letting ambient noise, whether it be traffic or dogs or people slamming doors or whatever, 
this has been incorporated more and more into music. And I, I like it a lot. Uh, you know, way back in the day before my time, uh, they didn't even like to hear the fingers on a guitar, you know, the the sliding of the fingers. They, that was considered an imperfection. They tried to make everything sterile. And then music got to where you could hear the hands on the instruments and uh, hear some, you know, sometimes even in a violin solo or something you would hear, uh, you would hear, it would sound more like a human playing it. And it's just evolved over the decades. And you know, I like this thing where she, you know, I read that she said her house was like another member of the band. She recorded this at her Venice Beach studio. And I thought, okay, well, yeah, whatever you say, Fiona. <laughs> but she's right. Yeah, the house is absolutely another member of the band on here. It's really cool. But man, that vocal production. I don't know about you guys, but I could understand every word crisply and clearly. And the other thing I'll say is reading the lyrics. You know, when I read them, if I didn't know it was Fiona Apple, I would have thought like, yeah, okay, it's a, it's another high school song about how I was mistreated in high school. But I could kind of imagine her singing it. And I thought, no, nah, I think she's going to pull this off. Well, not only did she pull it off, but she did it in an entirely different style. This is not like criminal, except in one regard, which she, she has that ability to sound absolutely effing nuts and absolutely perfectly sane at the same time. Like, she makes perfect sense. You know, uh, uh, another artist like that in the 90s a little bit was Alanis Morissette, right? She would, she would have these unhinged lyrics, but yet she knew what she was talking about. And I, and I hear that in this song. I love it. Uh, great. The sonics, the instrumentation. I think the bass was the biggest surprise. It, I don't know if that was a, an acoustic upright bass or that was an electric bass or what they were doing there, but like I say, to hear her kind of cadence with the uh, singing and then that almost upright style bass, it reminded me right off the bat of someone like Esperanza Spalding. So, except this has all the character of Fiona Apple. So I loved it. Let me know what you guys think and if there's anything else I should hit up, but. Yeah, I, I never heard a single song from her 2020 album. Fetch the Bolt Cutters. Love it. If you like what we're doing here, a senior reacting to the new music of the 21st century, hit that like or subscribe button. And as we say in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.